a black Trump supporter who said in court that he actually wasn't black because he was MAGA. Uh, he participated in the January 6th insurrection. He received a long, well, actually tied someone else for the longest jail sentence uh, for those in, impacted on January 6th. Mark Ponder, a native of D.C., was sentenced to five years in federal prison for assaulting law enforcement with a fire extinguisher during the January 6th insurrection and breaking a riot shield. After his arrest by the FBI, Ponder refuted Trump's false claims about the 2020 election in the Supreme Court. The FBI has arrested around 850 people in connection to January 6th with hundreds of cases in the works. I, I, I got to say, it was pretty hilarious, Reese, him saying, oh, no, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm, me? I'm, I'm not black. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not black. No, I'm, I'm MAGA. That's oh. what he said. He said, I'm not black, I'm MAGA. Oh, like you not you not black, you OJ. Well, shit, they got OJ that fucked up too. Okay, so if anybody was gonna go to jail, it was definitely gonna be your black ass, and they was definitely gonna throw the book at you. So it probably He's doesn't pay to be an insurrectionist, foot soldier of white supremacist, home boy. He is that my ass going away. No, I'm just <laughs> not black. He back. My ass going away. Uh, Listen, he F A F O. He F A F O. He fucked around and found out. So um, he sure did. Got those sixty three months, baby. Those five years and three months, another quarter. So shout out to Mark Ponder. And okay. it was mentioned that he had decades of a criminal record. I said, look at that. You're getting the all star black treatment. They are rolling out the carpet, baby. Not just talking about the crime that you committed for which you're being jailed for, but they went back decades to say that you are a career criminal. So um, I hope that he gets in real good with the Aryan uh, nation there um, at the prison that he'll be in. Shout out to Mark Ponder, um, a, a latest victim of FAFO. <laughs> but he got his inward wake up call. Uh, but <laughs> even though he got his inward wake up call, it wasn't that much of an inward because he got a lot of licks in. For a black man mm. hitting an altercation with mm. the police. I mean, he was beating them cops' ass. Normally, we do not see black people yeah. survive those kind of encounters. So if he wasn't a MAGA yeah. person, I might almost have been rooted for him just for the culture to have gotten a couple of licks. And I'm not saying I'm not condoning violence against the cops, the Capitol Police. They was just they wasn't doing anything wrong in that case. But I'm just saying, for all the licks that he got in, he survived it <laughs> and he got five years. I don't think that's a bad deal. Even though he got more than most people did. Greg, <laughs> uh, uh, Greg, bottom line, as far as I'm concerned, for this dumbass, some people are like, well, you know, this is unfair that the black man got the most. Mm -mm, uh uh, uh uh. He, he, right. No, he got traded. He ain't on yeah. team. He not on team black. You're right. Well, mm -hmm. well, you know, and here, kind of, again, it brings it all into perspective, doesn't it? The judge, the U.S. district judge that handed this sentence out, actually contemplated giving him more. She mm -hmm. actually gave him three months over the prosecution's ask. That judge is named Tanya Chuktan. She is an African-American. She's from Kingston, yes, Jamaica, yes. raised here, uh, went to school to George Washington here in the district. And she has been holy hell on the Come January on. 6th protesters. There are many more that are going to appear before her before it's done. She's also uh, the one who uh, she was presiding over that uh, the case where Trump was trying to keep his uh, records uh, sealed mm -hmm. in, in a way. Um, but Tanya Chuktan is not playing. So before anybody says that the black man got different, understand the black woman was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll put all of y'all in jail. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sit on that as Clarence Thomas tries to hide his wife from a whole ass insurrection. Because if she prepared before Tanya Chuktan, her ass going to jail, too. And last I checked, uh, the feds are thinking about bringing her to testify. So maybe we'll see Chuck Time play in place and we'll see a black woman gather this one right here. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. <laughs> Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Rollins. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between 
Black Star Network and Black owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?